With regard to the new HMO legislation that came into force on October the 1st, uh, 2018, the issues that are likely to arise will be where the borrower has a mortgage from a lender that doesn't do HMOs. And so at the time they took the mortgage out, they, the borrower and the property met the lender's requirements. Now it doesn't. Now, I don't think the lender can do anything about that at this stage because the mortgage was taken out perfectly properly. Where I think there might be an issue is that when the initial deal comes to an end, the fixed rate finishes and the borrower might be looking to do a product transfer, um, the lender might be less inclined to offer a product transfer if, the, if they still choose not to do HMOs. We haven't yet seen any lenders actually produce a policy on this, so we don't know how it's going to work out. But that's one of the things which I think borrowers need to be aware of, that whereas in the normal course of events they could expect to have the choice of a product transfer or a remortgage, they might find they have to remortgage to a lender that accepts HMOs. And we know that some local authorities are automatically informing the lender when a property becomes an HMO. So if the property has simply become an HMO as a result of the new regulation and the mortgage was taken out prior to that, then I don't think borrowers have any problem. If, on the other hand, the property was an HMO at the time the mortgage was taken out and it's with a lender that doesn't accept HMOs, then some lenders may well react and, um, in extremis, might ask the borrower to repay the mortgage. Uh, but I think in the main, um, wh where we're going to see lenders informing borrowers of a property becoming an HMO, it will be, be simply because it's become an HMO under the new rules uh, rather than effectively retrospectively.